so web design and hosting is probably like one of the most important things today if you want your business to be online and <clears throat> the thing about having a website is that you know people don't know how to go about doing it and uh you know like using for example wordpress some people might get overwhelmed like you know there's so many different plugins so many different themes like where do i start and even once I've created it, I have so many plugins, you know, updating them. You know, what if things break? How do I fix it? I, I have no idea, right? So those are the, you know, common concerns that a lot of people have when it comes to building a website on their own. And that's the issue that we're going to be talking about today. Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? We're going to be talking about Web Studio and what this tool does. It creates um, websites for you easily you know and you don't have to deal with plugins updating them and you know you don't have to uh, uh, you know work with different plugins do you don't have to code them uh, you know maintaining a website there's no maintenance at all right with this tool itself right so uh, it, it makes it easy for anyone to create a website and you know just kind of maintain their website on it so uh so before i dive into web studio be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so here we are in web studio <coughs> right so at the moment uh of course web studio is still quite a new tool in the market there are four different um teams or sort of templates that you can choose from right so we are just kind of going to uh so this is kind of nice one we will come to this later and then there's a sas website template that you can choose from okay so this is the sas website so this is how it looks like okay and then the last one is the portfolio site that you want to create Okay, so this is the portfolio site. This will be probably good for a, uh, you know, content creator or a, uh, you know, some kind of photographer. This would come in very handy for you. Okay, so here we go. Um, so of course, uh, there are different ones. So we have seen the link in bio, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, it's just a one pager and then you have a one column here the two column here and then a four column here so you know it's it's very nicely put i would say everything is very nicely placed so if you want to create a link in bio this is you know easy and then this is a marketing website right here so this is some kind of a uh, studio i would say okay uh and it's a one page just um, studio website okay um, and then let's check out the last one uh, sorry the last two this is the SAS website okay but you have very nice design I would say um, and then you can click on the links it kind of takes you somewhere else right So maybe what I'll do is I'll just kind of publish this so we can take a look at how the real site looks like. Okay, it does take a while. Um, I mean, overall, I would say that the design are nice, but it's limited right now. Alright, it's kind of limited right now and Okay, I think it's done Okay, so let's take a look at the last one as well So, worker not found I think it didn't publish properly 
But anyway, the last one is the portfolio, right? So, uh, okay, let's let's just kind of go into the LinkedIn bio. I think this is probably way easier to publish. Probably doesn't take so long. Okay. So anyway, right here. Um. So these are the components, right? So you can just kind of drag a box in here. Uh, and then you have that element in here then of course you can set out like the you know how you want to align it the sizing the order like the typography and everything uh, so this is sort of like you know like a I would think that this is a text box okay right and then you have you can add a link uh, and everything so these these are like the all the different choices for uh, your design right and then you can also add like this uh, images you can upload your own or you can upload your, in, your own images in here and you can create multiple pages as well okay so I think this is ready is it yeah there you go so you know the site is up over here. Okay. And then there is uh, also the uh, search result preview. So you can set up your own uh, open graph text with the social sharing image and everything, right? And also uh, your you know your SEO meta description and meta title. And then the last one is the alpha, right? So what this does is that it uses sort of AI to generate. Okay, it uses AI to generate. So let's say we put enter this. Okay, so it's going to use AI to generate content for you. Okay, so it is taking a while. Okay, I think it's out. Right, so there we go. So this is the output, I guess. So there's a button in here. Not really sure what that is. But let's just click on publish and update the site, right? right so this is actually generated from the AI. The only thing I, I would say, I guess, is the sort of updating the page and publishing it kind of takes a while. Even with like WordPress, it doesn't take too that long. Okay. So it does definitely does take quite a while to update, right? Um. So I think that there is a lot of uh, you know choices here. There is a form uh, feature, but of course, as an e-commerce site, I don't think this is possible right now. Uh, it's just sort of like a very simple uh, website builder that you can create most websites with. But in terms of feature functions wise, it's kind of limited. Okay, so this is basically what the AI has created for me. Uh, not the best I, I don't really know what it's trying to do but anyway I didn't put in any like interesting prompt anyway right I think this is this was the one that I used so it actually kind of adds a mountain or whatever in here so uh, so yeah I, I guess pretty much this is what there what there is and then you can also change the screen size like so that you can view how it looks like on mobile on like a uh, tablet okay and and so on right so it's responsive right here uh yeah so i guess pretty much that's all there is to say about this too what 
basically this tool does is you know you want to create a simple website that you don't have to maintain and so on this is a perfect uh tool for you right it's easy to maintain it's uh you know it's you know everyone can use it i guess the only downside is that it limits you on base on the uh, number of visits if i'm not wrong based on the number of traffic so that's the only limitation but otherwise this is a great tool that i think you know everyone should uh if you're not looking to use wordpress or other website builders definitely consider using web studio right so that's all i have to share about web studio if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about web studio in the comments below lastly if you know anyone can benefit from this too be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video bye bye